right. What is up, chat room? What's up, Quentin Bauer, YouTube member and moderator, shy boy, Peter? What's up? King Shadow Jin is here, fellow YouTube member. Cam MA, YouTube member and moderator, coming in here. You got Miss Sue's here. Jay Blackbird says, oh, yeah, caught it in time. Let's go around. I'm going to watch this while I clean my Beretta 92X. Spirit of the Samurai Edge. Hell yeah, Jay. Joshua, what's up? Says hello from Hawaii. What's up? Cam MA is at work listening. Thanks for coming in, guys. Appreciate it. Masai, what's up? All right, so yeah, this is um, this is gonna be a uh, a longer attempt. At least that's why, you know, I'm trying to beat the hell out of this game uh, with the dice lock. So, last time, as most first attempts, it was a little ugly. Um, I I kept getting reset. I couldn't save. I kept replaying the intro. It was a whole fucking thing. It, it was. Yeah, so, um, but this time, I'm obviously, you know, ready for that to happen again, but I'm also trying to put more uh, time into this stream uh, to just see, you know, how far I can really push myself. Matt Stewart, another YouTube member, says, Hey, bro, missed a few streams. Work has been busy, but I've managed to catch this one. Well, that's awesome, man. Thanks for coming in. Whether you're watching here or in the archive, again, appreciate it. What's going on? Lurking in the shadows. 209. PlayStation finally revealed the service. Yes, I did a video about that Masai yesterday. Talking about the Resident Evil trilogy potentially getting, you know, remastered on that service. Um, you know, and uh, that video was really just kind of... And also the fact that you can... They acknowledge your past purchases on PS3 so um, that means that as long as they enable Resident Evil 1 through 3 on the PlayStation and you bought it on PS3 you can in fact reinstall it and not have to be on the service because you did purchase it so that did come out yesterday and that is really good news on, on Sony's behalf uh, and you know obviously the, the game has to be on their, you know, I guess enabled on their service, but I would hope that they just get all of those PS3 titles that they're eventually going to pull off of the like PS3 store when that's done eventually and just bring it over, right? Um, but yeah, so really good news. And like they said, they're going to be remastering, you know, the games too, having them run in higher frame rate, whatever. So that means that Resident Evil 1 through 3, if it does get on there, there may be a up resolution kind of treatment at least a little bit on these games and that's kind of what my video yesterday was about um you know it is true it wasn't clickbait it is you know playstation is doing this of course they didn't say anything of the re trilogy but you know what that means if they're acknowledging past purchases they will acknowledge resident evil 1 through 3 eventually i think they would be stupid not to so um you know that's going to be coming to their service sooner Rather than, you know, Capcom putting out a, you know, collection, uh, which didn't really seem to happen in the last couple of years. Um, Brystar says, hey, and I'm watching while at work on my assignments. Crunch time last week with my course. Keep it up. Thanks, man. And they're bringing back the Silent Hill series. Yeah, I mean, that is, you know, um, you know, that I'll believe it when I see it because everyone's jumping up and down for Silent Hill. But, you know, until we actually see it and see how good it is. Take it. We'll just take it with a grain of salt, and you know, because again, this is Konami we're talking about. So I don't really trust them with Silent Hill in 2022. That's just me. I know people are excited about it. I don't want to say I'm not excited about it. Uh, I I do like Silent Hill. Um, so, but you know, Silent Hill has taken some time off, and it's been away for a while. So it's been dormant for so long. Maybe it's been too long. You know. But I guess we'll see. So, yeah, lurking in the shadows. Stay hyped for that. Hopefully, that that gets launched on their their service. And if you did buy it on the PS3 years ago, you won't have to repurchase them. Now, this is what Sony's telling us, so I should believe it, right? It was on the PlayStation blog. 
it was f from an official source. Um, but yeah, but anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked. I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. If you guys, you know, it, it is some good news going into this week. But uh, yeah, so this is Dice Lock Attempt 2 at Jill. Again, the community voted for Jill, so I am going to be running through Jill first, and then I'm going to do an attempt with Chris once I get done these attempts or however long, you know. Yeah, who knows, Bri Star, about that Netflix series? I mean, this is just not, doesn't really have me excited. You know, I kind of said a lot of, a lot of stuff that I needed to say in, in that, in those videos, um, you know, but I think we'll see some more stuff. Uh, Sherry says, can't miss another Dice Lock stream. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, to each their own. I know there's people that have, you know, different opinions on the Netflix stuff, and that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, it's just like anything else live action. You know what I mean? Some some of it, some of it works. Um, oh, nice, lurking in the shadows. Yeah, so that will be acknowledged then. So there you go. You will actually have your purchase uh, on your PS5, and you don't have to sign up for the service if you don't want to. You know, if you're going to sign up, you can, but I, I think it's kind of cool that you don't have to. Um, like, you don't have to sign up for their PlayStation Premium Deluxe whatever just to play your old purchase shit, you know what I mean? Um, because that's how, that's not how it should be, you know? So I'm happy they are doing that. And we're going to get right into it. This is attempt two. Attempt number two. There are only three stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've seen this intro like six times or five times the last stream, so. <clears throat> Alright. I think you'd better take a look at. I think you better. better keep it rolling here. Playing this on the Xbox Series S. Again, this edition I have to actually 100%, so that's why I'm playing it on this today. PlayStation did say Remake's going to be on that service, too, so you can play what is Resident it? Evil Remake. Not that most people don't have it already. I mean, it even was free for PlayStation Plus, I think, in like 2014 or 20, or, or I'm sorry, 2016, something like that. So, most people have Remake already, but I know there were some people in the stream last time that didn't even play this yet, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll be able to check it out on any way they can. Because this is kind of like an essential. What's up, hockey fan? Coming in. The chat, what's up? And we got Gary Garcia with the first roll of this evening. $1.99. And Jin with the 10. All right. So, Barry. let's roll here. Any luck, Jill? No. Nothing. Dice. What's going on around here? I can't figure no it out. No saving is on. Same here. Chris and now Wesker. I can never get around the no saving. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We got one we for. Easily we got lost. two for Jin, actually. Let's start from the first. And reloading. Okay. Most oh, of these medicines are from forgot. Umbrella. It's a lock pick. You'd make six, better use six. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens. I just the last one for Jin. Got it. Seven. Okay. Unbanned weapon. Roll again. Force damage. All right. So those are our rolls. No reloading. We can't save. First play this on the Japanese import. Pure madness. Oh damn. That's awesome, RGG. Yeah, I gotta get the Japanese of this. Alright, here's there's our force damage. Figured I'll take less from the dog than anything else, so. Get the fuck away from me. There we go. Megaroni, what is going on? Thoughts on the Resident Evil series is uh facial. Um I'm not, it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, very much like the Welcome to Raccoon City didn't really do anything for me. At least that had something going for it where it had, you know, an original, 
uh, setting based off the games, but this just being in its own thing doesn't really do much for me, so. And I, di I did a couple of videos talking about and breaking it down if you want to kind of hear me go in more detail. Um, I know that's like the, the hot the hot topic at the moment because that's the newest RE thing that's kind of been announced, so. But I tried to make a couple of videos on them. They did decent, but, you know, it's hard again, it's hard to break through the the algorithm, so to speak. It's either no one cares or no one cares about the live action shit as much. So it kind of shows in the analytics a little bit, too. We are doing pretty good. Thanks for coming in. I might have it still back in the UK. I'll have to go when I go back next year. Hell yeah, RJG. Get that shit if you have it. Those things do go for some money. I have not watched Moon Knight. I don't even know what that is. Out of my way. Oh shit, he's coming up. Alright. Let's do this, chat room. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can make some make some moves today on this dice lock stream. I'm feeling pretty good, so hopefully we can. I could be a little more uh, confident here. Examine this. Take that off. Uh, let's see here. You still need to watch Walking to Raccoon City. Yeah, I mean, you're not missing much, to be honest with you, but, um, I am going to be, uh, I am going to be recording some stuff really soon, um, that has to do with, it kind of has to do with the live action stuff. It's going to be picking up from where the Resident Evil Apocalypse podcast left off. So I am finally going to be touching Extinction. Uh, I can say that I'm going to be getting um, my buddy Tyler to come in and talk about the movies uh, so we can actually finish the movie reviews before the Netflix show comes out. I don't know if that's going to happen, but at least we can get, you know, get the ball rolling with a couple of them as far as Extinction or Afterlife, you know. Who knows? Maybe we might be able to knock them out. And a U.S. seller has it on eBay for 18 Oh, really? The Japanese import? Okay. I know the Japanese import, and even, like, the uh, normal remake just in America doesn't go for too much money, but maybe I'm thinking of, like, maybe RE2 and RE3 on GameCube over there might go for more. But sometimes the imports are cheaper, so... And that's why a lot of people get them, because... There we go. They also said in Season 2, Lady D could appear. Really? That's just like... That's so silly. I know they're going to try to implement stuff from the games, but it's just like, come on. Give me that key. All right, time to get the death masks, chat room. I'm gonna have to I have to get this knife soon because I can't reload right now. That dog is still hanging around here. <laughs> I just had the click clack of the fucking paws. Doji director's cut is selling for ridiculous money right now. Oh, what, the one with the RE2 demo? Yeah, I know that's gone up. I know that's gone up a lot.
Might as well pick it up. You know, I can't use it. There you go. Ah, there you are. All right. Yeah, it's kind of nuts to see how much of the uh, of the market has changed on those things, man. Uh, just, I think a lot of um, just a lot of the stuff that's gone up, you know, and finding the stuff complete and just like, yeah, man, it, it's like it's almost like just the more years you put between these releases, you know, the valuable, well, the more valuable they are, but. In the past couple years, it's been significantly increased faster. You know? Because, sure, you see stuff always go up, right? But a lot of the retro stuff, man, it is going up in price. But one thing I'm going to try to do when I go to the UK in less than a month, which is crazy. I'm so excited. Um, I want to try to hit up a video game store or a retro store or something. Because there has to be one around there. And I want to try to look for some Resident Evil stuff. Uh, that would be cool. You know, because with the UK imports, the shipping kills you in price. Like, as soon as you... Um, as soon as you go on there, like, you'll see the price for... Like, sure, American sellers can have UK stuff. Uh, that's an, actually how I got my... Um, my... Uh, Resident Evil 3, or my Biohazard 3, I should say, on PS1, was because of... Um, uh, it, I think it was someone that had it in North Jersey so they actually had it and I got it in like a couple days and then I actually did a video on it on this channel of me unboxing it or showing it off when I picked it up that was one of the first collection updates in January of like 2010 uh, you know so yeah that happened but um Remake is probably my all-time favorite top tier in my book, and it's fantastic. Still holds up. I agree, Lurking in the Shadows. I agree, man. 100%. Still my favorite remake of, in general, of anything. Just because of how well it was uh, done. One, two, three, four. Not enough. What's up, Donald Smith, fellow YouTube member and supporter? Thanks for coming in. How long will you be in the UK for? It should be a blast. Uh, I'll be there for a week. So it'll be really cool. Gonna be meeting up with RE Challenger team and a bunch of fans at a fan meetup that they're doing. And it's just gonna be really fucking cool. You know, I do realize that we've always had, uh, you know, crossover with our like fan fan group like you know just community and everything like over the years because you know i get a lot of uk viewers right so it just comes with the territory it has been a while donald smith it's good to see you back here but thanks thank you for supporting me even though you're you may not be around i still appreciate the support man you know what i mean like the the members for nine months like that's awesome so thank you so much man that really means a lot you guys keep me going. You guys keep this thing going. You know, that's why you've seen more videos. You've seen more live streams. I'm just trying, you know, I'm trying my best to keep it going at a consistent rate. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for supporting. But, um, hey, what's up with Sarah Kana? Says Murderer. What's up, man? Murderer is in here. And it looks like I'm going to have to go to the knife because I can't reload. So, and I can't save anyway, but that's where we're at, so. But, um, yeah, I, I really, I really want to get some, you know, Resident Evil stuff over there, uh, if, god fucking damn it, I didn't want to waste both my fucking daggers. Ah, it pisses me off, whatever. I thought he was, like, further away than he was, but never mind. Donald says, work kicks my ass. Yeah, man. No, it's all good, man. 
I know a lot of you guys are busy doing your thing. And this guy's just gonna fuck my day up. Yep. The double bite. Love that. Let's see, you know. Once you see that double bite, you just know you're already in, like, fucking danger. Or orange caution. Ah, that was so sloppy of me, guys. Sorry. I shouldn't have wasted those fucking daggers. Rookie mistake. All right. Oh my god, we gotta deal with the fucking dogs again, man. Ugh. I think we died by the dogs last time. Give me the lighter. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Fuck you. I'll be going, uh, in London. To London. That's where the meetup will be. So that'll be really fun. Still hear the dog down there. God damn it. All right. Let's keep it going. Oh, it's a big place. I know. I heard it puts New York to shame, you know what I mean? And I've been to New York City uh, several times, so I, I am, I'm excited. And, I, you know, man, I know, like, a week is not enough. You know, that's obviously what me and my girlfriend can afford. Um, but, you know, a week is still at least enough time to, like, you know, see some shit, you know what I mean? And, and obviously meet up with some amazing people and just have a good time. And this dog is going ape shit already. You, man. Fuck off. This fucking dog gonna die. Seems like a stressful way to play. It is very stressful, but it creates a challenge. Like this fucking dog. Get off. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Alright. Now we got the Imposter key. Uh, yeah, it could be stressful. It could be uh, heartbreaking at times, as you guys have seen so many heartbreaking uh, moments in the dice lock where, you know, but it's kind of a fun, interactive, like, community against me stream. You know what I mean? That's kind of, like, the idea. And uh, it's gone over so well. And I will be doing one of these in the UK for the original RE3 Nemesis with Nuji. And the Resident Evil Challenger team will, um, you know, We'll be around for that and that will just be a really great just a great time and that's why i'm doing remake right now and not resident evil 3 uh nemesis because uh when uh nuji messaged me for the idea i was like oh we gotta just we gotta do that you know so um so i'm just doing remake for now uh because i know i want to kind of save that for uh for that stream obviously and that'll be really cool so it'll be a co it'll be a co-stream cross stream whatever the hell you want to call it partner stream and we'll be raising some money for uh the hospitals in ukraine and everything so it'll be going for a really good cause so that's going to be um a month from now actually so uh it's going to be the weekend after not the weekend after but i think the tuesday after the the meetup the monday or the tuesday after the, the meetup it's already on their channel I, i'm getting the details all screwy but i will you know i'll make an event on here too because it'll be like you know 
kind of like a like I said a a co-stream thing so Okay, we got a roll for Abraham. Says, hey, Anthony, didn't get the notification. Missed some content. Damn. It's all good, Abraham. I know YouTube does that from time to time, so. No healing. Oh, man. Anytime that comes on. Oh, man. That's just a fucking. It's so brutal. All right. No healing. No saving. Can't reload, so it's pretty much like knife only, but I mean, yeah. I'm excited for you, bro. Hope your trip is awesome. Thank you, Lurking in the Shadows. RJG says, it's so spread out. I was born and raised there, and there's parts I haven't been to. Yeah, it seems that way, man. The Speedster Zone says, favorite Resident Evil channel ever. Thank you so much. Yeah, hit that like button, guys. Smash that like button. I know we got 34 people in here. Not bad for, you know, 2 p.m. on a, on a Tuesday. Um, you know, so... For me, there's three levels of gameplay. Fun, challenging, and frustrating. Yeah. I mean, this can... The pendulum can swing on either one of those three uh, when you do dice lock. So I know sometimes, you know, when I get a heartbreaking defeat, I can just seem so frustrated or pissed. But that's... It just comes with the territory. You know what I mean? It really does. Um, you know? And uh, it comes with the challenges. So... And it was really inspired by Resident Evil Challenger and, and Nuji and, and Nathan and the things that they've done in the past because... You know, I didn't want to obviously just do what they did, you know what I mean? And um, I wanted to, you know, try something different with this. And this was more of like a challenge, you know what I mean? And when me and John sat down and kind of were coming up with like, you know, ways where we could do something of a unique challenge, this was like the best way. Uh, and it just seemed like the best way. And, uh, and now, you know, they do it over there on Resident Evil Challenger and it's been fun to watch you know, watch their community and myself partake. I can participate and donate into the madness, you know? Um, so yeah, that's all, that's always fun. Alex says, hey chat, I also missed out on the notification. And you guys have the bell checked off, right? See, that's the best part is like, I know all you guys probably subscribe, probably have the bell clicked and it still didn't pop up. You know, it's just fun. I just like how it's like YouTube implements all of these things that should make it easier for you to watch and know when I'm live and it just doesn't. The Discord always tweets out when I'm live too, or not tweets, but notifies, you know, uh, when I'm live. So, you know, sometimes if you, if you can't rely on, you know, YouTube, just, uh, you know, just do that. All right, Abraham, with the other 99 cents, let's see what we got. No killing. Oh my god. Now the odds Most are st it's like are from umbrella. Uh, it's stacking against me, chat room. It's stacking against me. All right. His leaf with uh, at least with no reloading, I could fucking ah, uh, I could kill people with a different weapon. The most insane runs that Lurkin in the Shadow has seen has been no save, no damage. And I a lot, yeah. That's something I even, I still haven't even perfected, you know? It's very challenging. I've done this knife only. I've done this, you know, invisible enemy mode and all that stuff, you know? But. This is just for some shoddy shells, but fuck it. Anything could happen in the dice roll, so I want to make sure I can still pick up ammo when I can. And dodge this guy when I can, too. Quentin with the dollar! Shit! Alright. No defense. Let's try. Damn. No defense is on, chat room. This 
This guy actually went down. He's gonna rise up, though. Screw that. I'd rather pay for and download the DLC for the full automatic ICBM launcher with infinite ammo. Well, that's kind of cool. They give people that option. You know what I mean? What's up, X Cathedra? Thanks for coming in. We have 40 people in here. I really appreciate that. Uh, what do we got here? Abraham says, played Evil Dead over the weekend. It was a blast. Yes, I did play a little bit on Friday. Um, and I want to stream... I want to stream it, actually, for, you know, Patreon and YouTube members and stuff. Uh, one of these days, so... But, uh, yeah, I actually did play it, and it's really fun. Hopefully I can play with some of you guys. Abraham with the other 99 cents. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Shit. Shit. This is going to roll for, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that again, I did it again, I keep clicking the wrong thing, oh shit, alright, on, 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 roll it, I can use defense weapons again, woo, yeah, there we go. Well, at least I can stop myself from <laughs> dying here. Max out Army of Darkness. Ash going to get Pablo next. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go through it and, and try to play more. Gonna go through here. Take the other way around. side. Alright. I think I did this last time, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. Fuck away, dog. Get away. Well, he's asleep at the wheel, definitely. Walk right past me. Of course you're going to break through.
right outside the window. Like, let me in. It's time to kill this plant. Yeah, I was actually very happy uh, with how Evil Dead ran, you know. Ran a lot better than Friday 13th from the start. Yeah, and then we'll just leave two in here for later if we need it, even though we can't heal, but... Just gonna stack it while I can. All right. I hit the item box. that but whatever Trying to think if I have to go. Eh, I can go the different way. I'll have to go back that way. Oh, get the fuck off me, man. Of course, it brings with a caution. God damn it. Let's try. Ready? Jen with 10 try. Let's hope it's something good. I need it. No healing. Shit. I can heal again. Thank you, Jin. Thank you, Jin. The stun gun does more damage than the knife. It actually... It does a pretty decent amount of damage, I'm pretty sure. But getting grabbed by these fucks Most of these is the last thing I want. Umbrella. Abraham with the 99 cents. What's up, four clackers? I can reload. Yes. Yes. Fuck yeah. But I can't kill, so it doesn't. Not that matters anyway. We gotta go get the serum for Richard here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's fucking the wall, so we're just gonna run past him. Still can't save, which that always seems to be really screwing me over because it always has me. You know, this always gets me in a situation where I, when I can't save and then I gotta redo the whole intro bit again, over and over again. It's like, god damn it. At least when I save, I can like go back to that save over and over again. I'd rather that, or at least have a little bit of the beginning done. I just hate starting all the way over, but. It's common being a Resident Evil fan playing these games. Sometimes you just get screwed. Sometimes we don't save out of our own actions, you know? And it screws us over in the end, but here... 
Anything goes. I know there's going to be a in there anyway. So is so it's gonna be classic Ari bundle for PS Plus. Well, when they announce it, definitely. Um, if they announce Resident Evil is going to be on the PlayStation service, and you did buy it on the PS3, what's up, Tolga? They will acknowledge it. So you can download it. Um, but nothing has been officially said. Like, no no one said, hey, Resident Evil is coming out on these dates. But as they roll out the PlayStation 1 library starting next month, you bet your ass they're going to they're gonna eventually get Resident Evil on there. And if they follow through with remastering those games and making them run a little bit crisper on the PS5, then they go. Fucker. You own a PlayStation Mini, like a small boy? Yeah, I do. I own the PS1, like the actual console, and then I own that piece of shit PS1 classic that Sony put out that offered nothing to the fans. But it gave us a 50 hertz version of Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is like, why? Why? Had to sneeze there. All right. Time to hunt for the PS3 deals. Yeah, man. I mean, if you go on the PS3 store... So, like, for example, guys, like, Ape Escape and Siphon Filter. Uh, games that I both already have. Um, I can just download them. Uh, day one of the service. You know, I don't even have to sign up for the set service. So, you know. Hopefully, Resident Evil is among those right away. Fuck me up, chat room. Yeah, and they were charging a hundred bucks for it. Like, what the fuck? And then it, I remember I was working at Best Buy at the time, and we had so many classics that wouldn't sell. I'm not even kidding. I'm talking hundreds, like in the warehouse. Then they, they didn't sell. And then when Sony dropped the price to like. 10, 20 bucks, it sold all of them. Sold all, all of them. It's almost like they knew that they needed to clear out stock because we had them for months untouched. No one fucking wanted that shit. No one. Fuck! God damn it. On danger. I 
That's your dead comrade, Joel. Knew there's herbs over here. Oh shit. Should have fucking healed. <sighs> it's death number one. Uh, thanks, Scott. Thanks for coming in, man. You just saw me get fucked up. What's up, David? David the charm? The charm? What's up, man? I haven't been able to fully keep up with you though through upload, so I'm sorry if you've talked about it, but what do you think about the game's canning canon existing in the show? Well there It's not canon to the show. Them. I think there'll be stuff that happen in the RE lore that they show in the show, but I, I think a lot of people are getting it confused with like, you know, it's following, it's actually canon to the games, like how Infinite Darkness is canon to the games. I, I think that's a bunch of bullshit, even if like people say it, you know, but I, I know what you mean where like, you know, they are implement, they're saying that like the events of Raccoon 1 happened and, you know, the mansion probably happened, but it's like, where are the characters then, you know? Oh man. Again, couldn't save, so we're all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. Chat one, Anthony zero. Yeah, basically. Well, I couldn't kill anybody, that's why I wasn't shooting Forrest. Nor did I take, I didn't take his bazooka because I couldn't kill him, technically. I think I've seen you do Silent Hill 1, one once a couple years ago. Yeah, I did do Silent Hill 1 uh, a couple years ago. I put Silent Hill on the poll uh, for the next, uh, you know, survival horror game. Uh, but it did not win. Thanks. It did not, it came close. But it did not win. But all of you members and Patreon supporters voted, so I appreciate you guys voting for that. A lot of people wanted me to redo Silent Hill 1 because it's been a couple years and it was before, you know, production increased. I was on camera more, like, during live streams. Um, so, but... You know, that it'll still come eventually. <laughs> what I think about the Silent Hill leaks, I'll believe it when I see it. But Silent Hill's been a dead end for many years now, so I know people are jumping up and down, but we'll see. So right now we can't kill and there's no saving. So those are the two things that are turned on right now. I have Silent Hill uh, 1 and 2 in my collection. Used to have 3. Don't know where it went. Maybe one day I'll be able to find it. 
Fuck you, dude. Stay down. But yeah. Uh, and thankfully, I was able to get at least a couple of them before they shot up in price, you know? So. hear about the inventory management Resident Evil game. No, I did not. I don't know where this stuff's even coming from, to be honest with you. for Tetris game basically really <laughs> better than a pachinko machine I guess nightmare of decay no I can't say that I've tried that Who's scared for the RE4 remakes is Tyler Ross? I know the originals has spots to improve, but I don't want them to butcher it. Yeah, I, I'm a little worried, but, you know, we'll see what they pull out, you know? Fuck you guys. I can't, I can't reload. Thought you were Buzzdy Wit SF. What? <laughs> what? I don't know what that it means, uh, Brel Ozius. Nightmare of Decay is RE and Silent Hill copy paste game. Okay. It's janky as hell, but it looks fun. So some people are saying it's fun, some people are saying it's copy and paste. Yo, man, can I get a shout-out for my Mama Carol coming coming to visit from S Scotland today? She's an OG Ari fan. Bought me Ari 1 on PlayStation 1 way back in Nam when I was 12. <laughs> well, shout-out to Scott Wiley's mom, Carol. Shout-out to Carol. Safe travels from Scotland. There's a heavily inspired RE7 clone, says Abraham, called Phobia Saint Dinfa Hotel, coming to Xbox. Looks interesting. Just saw the trailer. Really? Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that. Anytime there's like a new, there's new horror stuff that seems to be announced every other day, and I always got to like keep up to, the, up to date with that. I'm about to buy Pragmata. Yeah, I mean, that's something I would like to check out, you know. Hopefully Capcom hooks me up with it. That would be really cool. Thank you, Scott, for the $2 super chat. Did I play Daymare at 98? I didn't play it. Uh, not yet. This one's for Scott. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. 
Reset. <laughs> I'm dead, Kevin. I'm dead. Uh, I just tried. I just tried to do this again. How much do I think Resident Evil has costed me? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. It's hard to tell, but... A couple grand... A couple grand on top of that, maybe. You know, like, if you count, like, over the years, like... There's been a decent amount of collector's edition stuff, but you know, I I barely bought a lot of stuff when it was like outrageously priced, like the way it is now. So I did save a lot of money, you know. But yeah, that's a feels bad man. That's an F in the chat. I have to reset. So, all right, we got an Anthony reset. All right. It was going to happen anyway, Scott. It was either going to be you or so, someone else. Don't feel bad. But, uh, all right. Well, before I continue, let me just uh, use the restroom real quick, and I will be right back. Don't nobody go nowhere.
All right. Had to hit the punching bag a few times. I had to do a whole rocky workout to get out that anger that I just had to endure. No, I'm kidding. I'm we're back. Um okay. That was an Anthony reset. So continuing on from that, let's do it. The chat to Anthony Zero. What's up, Danger Dylan? Thanks for coming in, man. Good to see you're feeling better. I'm kidding. I don't have a punching bag. I wish I did. <laughs> Sorry, I could I could do the Rocky montages every day. I should have went to the gym though. I should have just went did a whole gym session and came back and been like, "All right, guys, I just left you guys hanging for an hour. Where'd you guys go?" Oh, he went to he went to Planet Fitness. He's coming back now. He's ready. For, he's got his, you know, he's got his rage on, ready to conquer the dice log. What's up, Ty? I don't think I've ever done the beginning of remake so much <laughs> back back to back, like just repeating it over and over again. You know what they say, practice makes perfect, right? And that's kind of what these dice locks uh, make you do is try. You know, it's funny because every time this happens on a game that, you know, you think you know, you don't, it doesn't matter because the dice lock can be so um, unforgiving. Uh, depending on what you roll and that's why like even when I play Resident Evil 3 in the UK next month um, With Nuji, it's like it's gonna be it doesn't matter how much like we know the game, you know uh, And it played it a bunch of times, right? It's like It could still be challenging uh, And find challenges, you know within the uh, I guess pretty much luck of the draw right like whatever you actually end up getting um, So that's what's gonna be very uh, very challenging but with this, you know, because a lot of people said, you know, do zero. And I'm like, uh, zero would just be a nightmare. I don't even think I would want to do zero until I'm like, I feel like I'm actually ready for zero. Like, you know, the RE games on like PlayStation, the earlier games, Resident Evil 4 even, even Remake, I feel comfortable doing because I've played these games a million times. Um... Even Code Veronica, I would feel a little bit more comfortable doing over Zero, but I'm still not comfortable to do Code Veronica yet. Um, so, yeah. What's up, Mr. Patriot Joel? Doing well? This is my third attempt today. Well, third third round on the second attempt is really the correct way, I should say. So, third time restarting. Deja vu for the last stream where I just restarted a bunch and got nowhere. <clears throat> But, we will keep trying. Uh, but right now, as we stand, no killing, no saving. That's what we're at. <laughs> yes, he can already smell the rage. Well, yeah, I was going to say, you could probably already smell the rage from before you entered the chat. Darnizzler, what's up, man? What is going on, man? Fellow supporter and buddy in the chat, what's up, man? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, that that's uh, you. Pr that's pretty much what both of you guys just missed before was a little bit of the rage, and that's why I was taking a break. Also, had to take a piss, but regardless, I was like, ah, oh. all right. That's really what you have to do in this game, man. You gotta, like, let them lunge, and while they're still in that animation frame, just, like, dash. The dice lock giveth, and the dice lock taketh. Exactly. Exactly. I do get deja vu a lot as well, Dylan. You're not alone. Exactly. But that's that's what I was saying, you know, like, someone was saying earlier, like, they don't know how they could ever play, um, <laughs> you know, play this in the dice lock form, and I'm like, that's how it is, man. It's heartbreaking, but it's it's conquering. It's fun, you know? Hey, Ant, seeing this live stream right now has made my day. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for 
for coming in, man. And I'm so stoked. I am so stoked for the UK. Like, I'm fucking, like, excited as hell. So, yeah, man. I'm just hyping it up. I'm telling everyone about it. I'm, like, just being like, this is it, man. This is... It's going to be fun as hell. And, um... Yeah, we're just kind of talking about how the dice lock can be, like... So, like, the pendulum can swing either way. Like, it can go from, like, a rage-induced moment to, you know... To cheering, to whatever. It's like... And it doesn't matter how well you know the game. It's like, it could be, you know... This remake right now just doing this is just is being a fucking bitch and i think it's because the resets too like every single time i think i'm doing decent the reset comes in it's just like you know the reset knows it's almost like it's listening it's like number 12 all right reset and then even if i change it even if i change the number you know reset three weeks until the uk hell yeah it's approaching so fast and i'm like so stoked you know i'm so stoked and I'm so happy that, like, I was able to plan a lot of the stuff and get a lot of stuff done, um, you know, earlier, like, already, do you know, so, because I hate, like, doing stuff last minute, and I'm happy that, like, everything was booked. I was able to get flights before the prices got jacked up because of the fuel cost over here and everything, so, like, you know. And big thanks to Callie for that, too, because, you know, planning it with her, it's, it's always great to, to plan uh, with all that stuff, so. Have it all organized. I'm doing an R8 uh, Director's Cut Dice Lock next Monday. Oh, man. I'm so looking forward to that. That's going to be killer. I'll make sure I uh, I take some time to watch that um, because that's going to be a really fun one. I love watching you guys play the, the... Especially the older ones with the Dice Lock because of how... I'm trying to just knock this guy down. Oh, there we go. I passed him. Some of the older games, man, I just feel like... Like, I had a really hard time with Chris. Like, Chris on RE1, I don't know why. I just, again, luck. it could have been luck of the draw. It could have just been, you know, what I was given. But I know that there there were some real, like, FU moments, like middle finger moments that that, that game in particular gave me that I was like, Ugh. it was it just, it was a bummer. But that, I think that and Claire B were tied for, I think, I think that was four attempts. I think it was four attempts each, each game. Um, JG, what's up, man? Thanks for coming in. Um, gonna do what I do best and lurk and have, have a good one, Anthony. Hey, lurking in shadows. That's your name, so do it. Any tips? I can't get the timing with the stun locking. I can't get the timing with the stun locking, uh, zombies. Well, um, I would say, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, I guess for the, like, if you want to do the, the knife glitch in that game where you slash it and then pause if, if that's what you're referring to or if, or if it's a different thing but um, that's the one thing that I was able to do when I was knife only was like you know hit it pause but I maybe they don't I don't know if I ever tried that in director's cut because I was playing that on the original like the original so I don't know if they stopped that in director's cut or you know but um yeah, because that's, like, the best way is just, like, to do... I was trying to do that with the snake because the snake was a fucking asshole. Even if even if you don't have the knife, you can do it with the shooting, too. If you shoot and then pause. So you can do it with a gun or a knife, but it's, like, it's very... that That's, like, the easiest way to do it. Um, and it was just, like... I would say, um, yeah, the knife pause, yeah. So you can do it with bullets and, uh, and with a knife, but... Maybe they didn't have in director's cut. I'm going to have to try it. I mean, maybe it's not... Maybe they took that out, or maybe that's only in the original. But I could have sworn that it was able to be done on uh, director's cut. Are you playing director's cut DualShock, or are you playing director's cut? Like, which one are you uh, trying it out on? I'm just curious, because now I'm now I'm going to have to go in and, and see if it actually works uh, that way. Because um, if not, then that's very strange if it's only in the original, but in the first edition. But yeah, Nuji, I don't know if you heard yesterday, and I did a video on it, kind of, but, um, you know, the, the Resident Evil, you know, trilogy, the ones that are on the PS3, may be coming to the PlayStation service uh, sometime this year with the monthly PlayStation 1 game rollout. And they did announce yesterday, Sony finally announced that if you did buy your PS3 PlayStation 1 games... Um, they will acknowledge them. You can re-download them and, and play them. So, um, and, and you don't need the service. You don't need the new service. So, um, 
it's that's really cool. You know what I mean? So, uh, and they said that they are going to be remastering the PS1 games to a certain extent with resolution, frame rate. So that means if Resident Evil does get announced on the PlayStation service, uh, hopefully we can get it remastered and we can don't have to spend money on it if we already spent money on it back in 2007, 2008, 2009, whenever we purchased those original Resident Evil games. So that's really good news for... It's not the best of news for people that aren't on PlayStation and that are still on Xbox or PC, but at least we have a way that we can at least play some PS1 games because that was completely neglected um, on PS4. Like, they completely, like, you know, kicked the shit out of the PS1 stuff. They were like, yeah, we don't care about it. Like, we don't, you know, no one wants to play old games, right? And now it's like they're, they're bringing it back. But it's cool that the money that we spent years ago can be honored. So, for example, the first list of games, I think it's like Ape Escape, Siphon Filter, um, Intelligent Cube, uh, let's say a couple others I'm, I'm blanking on, but it was only a, a few. Um, a very Kind of underwhelming, to be honest, just to, for starters, but, you know, it, it, I, I know they're trying to roll it out gradually. It actually gets released, uh, Nuji, when we are together in the UK, like that service. Um so maybe we can check it out on your PS5. You know, that would be really cool. I think it, I think it launches on the 13th, I think. Um, so. And zombie. And dagger. Perfect. Carlos Cruz, what is up, man, in the chat? He says, hope all is well. Yeah, man, hope all is well with you. Hopefully uh, we can uh, chill sometime, you know, whenever we, you know, get together, maybe with Perry. Um, you know, I'll be in the UK next month for his store anniversary, but maybe after that, if we end up getting together, we can all chill, man. Hope you've been well. One second, guys. I just got to grab something before I continue here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little distraction there. Had to take care of. <clears throat> Love the stream. Says MKL. Thank you for coming in. Yes, definitely. Once you come back from the UK, we could definitely hang out. Yeah, man. We'll go definitely plan something out. Summer is uh, summer is in full swing, or at least it is getting there. Especially with the weather here in uh, South Jersey, it seems to be finally getting over the bullshit rain. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we always get that here. We, we sometimes just have rainy summers over here. Um, sometimes it's just it's a mixture of that. But at least the cold is going away. Uh, it's definitely getting a lot more humid and hot. That's the problem over here is the humidity is a bitch, you know. But um, the Sarah Connor outfit, yes. I love Jill's military outfit. I think this outfit's underrated. But yes, that's cool. Carlos Cruz are in here. And, ah, shit. There we go. We got, we has a, 
Squeeza. Cisnian. Kisnian. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm butchering that. But he hello. Uh, they said hello from Poland. Well, hello. Thank you for coming in. Uh, how confident are you feeling about beating this tonight, Ant? Honestly, I do feel... I do feel a little bit more confident because I, I have a little bit more... Or a lot more time to, to try this um, and attempt it. But all it takes is a few dice rolls and, you know, something to shatter my confidence, you know. Or also, like, a, uh, you know, not being able to save is kind of on my... That's kind of on my ass right now. Uh, no matter which <laughs> stream that I do, I feel like I always get that. And um, that's detrimental because then I'll get, like, a no healing roll. And then I'll start from the beginning, and I'm like, do I really feel like going back, you know, two hours or three hours? I haven't gone back that far yet. Probably, you know, four, 35, 40 minutes we just wasted here today. Well, not wasted, but, you know, before I had to, before I died and then had to reset before you came in here. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, the good thing about this is I recently played Remake on stream for the anniversary, so I'm a little more confident with my, uh, you know, kind of, kind of blowing off the dust a little bit to kind of get used to it again, um, because it's it was a little while since I actually streamed it or played it. Ah, bastard. Darnezo says it makes it like more devastating Dark Souls game. Yeah, exactly. It makes it more of like a a punch in the gut. To the person that's playing, for sure. And that's what's cool about it. You know, like, that's what's cool. It adds a different layer to the game that you've seen me play, you know, a million times on the channel. And it's always fun, but it's always good to switch it up to do this shit, too. So, kind of goes hand in hand with that. All right, we got the dog whistle again. All right, so, no killing is on, but I do have to kill the dog with the dog whistle. So, we... We are in agreement to that. I think I had to do that last stream, too, when that was on. Nope. Ah, shit. Peace out. Girl Scout. We're out of here. That was almost a fuck up. Ah, he did the double lunge. Damn. He hit the double lunge. See, sometimes you can get him when he when he does the one lunge, but when he does the double lunge, man, that pisses me off. Alright, mansion key. Mansion key, it's on. Oh, I just did a, a five pound donut on PayPal, but don't think it gives you a notification. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, but I will roll because I can actually check that right now. Nuji, thank you so much for donating and contributing. Yes, I did get it. Thank you so much, man, for the for the five pounds. Appreciate that. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, I actually have to set up. I want to... Because I know I, I have PayPal set up for um, for the streaming thing, but for the notifications to pop up, I think I have to implement Streamlabs donations, which uses PayPal. So I think I'm going to implement that more uh, on the streams as well, because the Streamlabs stuff is a separate thing than the Super Chats. You know how it is. It's all separate and confusing, but thank you so much. So we're going to roll. This one's for uh, Nuji here. Let's see what we actually get. No killing is off! Yes! 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 Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so I can just kill this dog now with no shame uh, once we head out here. Sweet. Appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know because unless I looked at my phone and got the email, <laughs> I wouldn't have known if you donated. So thank you, man. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix that. That's a, 
That's a, something I gotta gotta look into. I used to actually have all that stuff set up because I think the first time I started to do the donations, it was like super chats weren't even a thing yet. It was just Streamlabs donations, I think, at a time, and then they changed it, and then I had to change it. So, Newsy's like, damn it, <laughs> wanted a different outcome, eh? But it, it ended up being this. All right. New saving is still on though. That's still that's still annoying. We'll see. We'll see if someone else, we'll so <laughs> if someone else rolls, and then it'll just be uh. Shit. All right. Whatever. You've used the lockpick. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. I only did this to uh get rid of the dog whistle. Oh shit, he did it on the super chase. He's not letting you get away with that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Knife only. Oh damn. Okay, I can't even do what I'm doing right now. Alright, Nuji got his win on that one. Knife only. Alright, that's on. First knife only of the stream. I like it though, I like it. I like it. At least I can kill enemies, you know what I mean? I'd rather do knife only than have to do that. But I gotta knife this dog, which is gonna be a bitch. So perfect timing, Nuji. This is gonna be uh Alright. Knife only. It has been decided, chat room. Let's do this. Okay. Put this back. Put this back. Hang on to the lighter. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's the role that he was looking for all along. We took the enemy challenger to the heart. <laughs> What's good, Wiz? Right, so these, this dog should be like ready. Oh no! Damn! Why did you do so much damage? <laughs> I love how there's two of them now, but last time there was one. Ah, you bitch. Literally, you bitch. Oh my god. This is so stupid. Oh my god, dude, I'm dead. Get off Jill's arm! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> uh. Chat three, Anthony zero. <laughs> that was just like bad timing. Savagery. Savagery. Alright. Sarah Kana again. Just keep going. Well I had to I had to get the dog uh the dog collar or or uh Yeah, I had to get the dog collar from that dog. That's why I had to kill him. And last the last two times I just tried that on stream today, there was only one dog out on the balcony. But that time there was two. 
Yuji is partially responsible for this. He's directly responsible for yeah. this. <laughs> it's fine, though. That's the name of the game, right? I, I, I could still kill, though, right? So you, you still helped, in, in a sense. You helped, and then you did a, did a doozy on that one. Brutality. If I gotta see these cutscenes one more time, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cry, chat room. That's all I, that's all I can really do. Alright. So Jill does run faster with no weapons equipped. Alright. There's a little hack. Even with the knife, does she run faster with the knife, or does the knife count as, like, weight? Yeah, that's weird, Nuji, because, like, I... The last two times I tried it on stream, uh, today, on normal, there was only one dog. So it's really weird. But you know what I did each time? I opened the front door to get, like, force damage, I think, that I needed to do, and I don't know if that has to do with it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we could try that. Aunt, you gonna check out the movie Men this weekend? Barry. What is that? Any luck, Jill? No. I'm gonna have to look on the Cinemark app. What is Men? I'm playing this on uh, Xbox. I may need the Series S. But here, let's try this here. So if you open this, they jump in. We know this here. See how there's two dogs out there? Well, there's three, actually, but there's several. Look at that. Deja vu right there. Hool! Fuck you. Alright. Maybe we'll see if there's one on the balcony later when we go up there. Because earlier, it was just like, yeah, it was very strange. Uh, very strange. I don't know if it was a glitch. That's something that would be interesting, you know, to even point out in, like, a video, being like, if you open the door, there's only one dog up top. And things people don't know about Remake. I feel like more people should know about <laughs> this remake, because this is, like, this is the essential remake, in my opinion. these. So we have to get to the item box and get my knife. Alex Alex Garland's new horror movie. Okay. Um I mean, might might actually check out a movie this weekend. Might be the right weekend to do it. Um I'll look on the Cinemark app, man. I'll, I'll check on there and see if see what uh see what they got going on. Is it a wide release or is it like one of those smaller releases like X? You know, a lot of people like X, but a lot of people don't like X. Very, very interesting. Everyone's got their own opinion, though. So it's all good, but... I dodged him. So he didn't double lunge at me that time. Yeah, because if I can deal with... Uh... Just one dog on the balcony as opposed to two. And I'm going to be on knife only. I'd rather just deal with that. Because one was a lot better to deal with on the knife. <clears throat> oh, it's a wide release. Okay. Yeah, I might have a, uh, a free movie credit on my account on uh, Cinema because I do pay for their, you know, membership thing. I try to support the theaters, at least, that I like, you know. You go to AMC, you know. I want, uh... I think you, uh, Nuji, do you have any cool... I mean, I'm, I don't, this is a, probably a dumb question. Because it's, like, such a, you know, such a big place, especially, like, London. But I was gonna say, we gotta go to, like, a theater or, like, a, a movie or something, you know what I mean? That'd be fucking killer. Like, in a really cool theater, you know? Because I'm sure there's, like, franchises, like, over here... But, like, AMC, like, maybe that's over there, too. But I would go to, like, a really dope theater. I don't even know what's coming out, but maybe we could see something fucking cool. I think Jurassic Park might come out that week or something. 
seeing that in the UK would be fucking killer. I'm just, I mean, you know, being such a, such a movie guy, I'm like, come on, I gotta go to a, a theater over there. Speaking of movies. I don't know when that <laughs> village, what's up, Minecraft? I don't know when that's coming out, man. Who knows? Beat Village 13 times? Yeah, I'm kind of up there with you. I think I beat it 7 times, 8 times, something like that. Alright, at least that guy didn't move. So, again... Very, there, there's like random shit that happens sometimes, because that, that zombie in the back will sometimes move with that guy, and they block you. They both block you when you come up the stairs. Sometimes he doesn't, so it's just... All random. Alright, once I get to the item box, I will... Grab the knife. And unless it gets rolled off the uh, chart here, it'll just be a knife only run. Which I've done before, so I'm not too I'm not too worried about it. I just it's just like when it's like knife only, no killing, no healing. Like if that becomes the case, then it becomes very uh like I said, very confident shattering for sure. But we will press on here. I really would like no saving to get turned off. But we'll see. The chat room might be might be like, nope, that's it. You should go to the Prince Charles in I can't I, I'm gonna probably uh butcher it. Leicester Square. Leicester Square. It's a really cool, slightly vintage cinema that shows cult classics. Oh man. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That already sounds awesome. They used to do screenings of the room w w which Tommy Wiseau used to attend. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, that, that, that theater already sounds killer. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... Put that in my phone. St. Charles Theater, got it. Point taken. Grab this. Grab the chemical. Oh, Leicester. Leicester Square, okay. Leicester Square. Yeah, I'm always into old... Old stuff, old buildings, old vintage theaters like that are really cool. You know, it's a shame because a lot of the stuff that used to be in, like, the, you know, like New York City, right? Something that would be, like, you know, uh, I guess equivalent to, the you know, the old theaters because, you know, New York City, especially on 42nd Street when they had all that stuff there, you know, those theaters just got all demolished and Disney-fied after, you know? Uh, everything became the same... And it was like very, um, it sucked. And I wish they kind of kept those theaters because, yeah, there were second run theaters. A lot of them were porno theaters. You know, some of them were in, in New York City. But keeping some of that vintage stuff or restoring it to an actual, you know, theater would have been really cool. And it's a shame that such an iconic, you know, city like New York City just kind of like they're like, nope, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to take it all out and just act like, you know, it pretty much never happened. And I understand it was in between some seedy stuff, you know, but some of those old theaters that showed that stuff was really cool. And it's cool when like there's places that res like restore it or they keep those old theaters going. Um, that's really cool, you know, because sometimes they don't they lose faith in that side of it or they make it like, yeah, we'll just make them all AMCs. And it's like, yeah, but AMC, I don't know, you go there, there's like. There's hair in the popcorn, there's fucking, you know, it's it's like you deal with those like franchise issues, right? It's almost like when you see a theater that's, I don't know, just like on its own doing its own thing. Every, sure, everything could be even a franchise and still be really 
well done. Uh, it's less samey. It's more like it stands out. Like a theater that shows cult movies, that stands out already more than just a movie that, or a theater that shows the same shit over and over again. You know what I mean? Um, that's like, you know, mainstream stuff, which is fine because that's the draw. But, you know, like there's a drive in uh, called the Mahoning Drive in. You know, I've, I've been there a million times. I've talked to it. I've talked about it on here. It's in PA. So from here in South Jersey, it's about two hours away. Um, but it is, uh, it's, it's vintage theater. You know, they only show stuff on 35 millimeter. They don't show new releases or anything like that. So they, I like theaters that have their shtick or drive-ins that have their, like their thing, because it really does work. Um, you know, in, in the, uh, in the favor of the, the cults following that some of those movies get. All right. You can have that one zombie. You can take that one. Whatever. They're really cool. Shit, man, you go to New York City now, it's like, it's like, it's not, I don't want to say like, you know, I kind of already know I'm going to like London over New York City. And that kind of sounds like weird, right? I haven't even been there, but like, I just know, like, I feel like, obviously it's bigger, but I feel like it's like, it's not Disney infested, you know, it's not like Starbucks and this and that and like, like, obviously, like, that's, those stuff, that stuff's in every city, like, main franchises. But you got what I'm saying with New York City, how it's just, like, it's so squeaky clean and so, like, Olive Garden, this, that. Like, there's no, there's not, like, a lot of standout small mom-and-pop business stuff. And there is some in the city. You can go and find it, you know. Uh, it's, it's there. You got to look, like, anywhere else. But I feel like New York City kind of lost that, you know, some of the unique stuff. Like, London, I feel like, has... There's history there, but there's history everywhere. But I just think, like, I don't know. I feel like London will be a, a bigger... I get to indulge a little bit more in in some of the city. Where New York City, the last time I was there, I was like, yeah, this is cool, you know? But, like, everyone that's a lot older says otherwise, where it's like, eh, it's more of, like, it's all the same, you know? A lot of the tourist trap areas, like, that's kind of what it is. And there's... There's tourist traps everywhere. Everywhere you go. You gotta know how to avoid them. I guess that's part of, like, the traveling, right? But... Disney infected. Yeah. JG, I'm serious, man. Uh, the, the... The leakage stuff with Silent Hill. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I heard about that. People were bringing that up earlier in the chat. Um... Yeah, I mean, look. Silent Hill's been dormant for a while. If they decide to do something with it, that's cool, you know? Um, but I just don't... I just don't know. I, I, I'll believe it when I see it, you know? Because the last thing Konami was doing with that was, like, pachinko machines and shit, you know what I mean? It's like, do we really want to see that, like... In terms of, like, them coming back to it if they don't have a really solid idea. And I, I like Silent Hill, you know? So, I'm not even against it. I just, like, you know, it's been dormant for so long. They've done nothing with it. But we shall see. We shall see. Hmm. I don't remember that, JG. All right, now we gotta fight these dogs. Now we're back. We're back at uh, where we were.
All right. Yes. Say only one dog's up here now. So opening the opening the front door does work for to only get one dog on the balcony. That's good to know. Jeff Grodden says, New York City is great for hyper-specific shopping if you know where to look. Times Square is an overrated tourist trap. Yes, Times Square is really, like... I, I think uh, kind of what I meant really by that was more Times Square, maybe that area. You know, there there is areas of the city where you could find some really cool video game shops and record stores and really cool stuff. So I agree, Jeff. What's up, Jeff Grodden, fellow YouTube member and brother in the chat? Hope you've been well, man. Hopefully I can see you soon at one of these, like... Mahoning things again. Are you going to Mahoning this year, man? You going up there this summer? You see, you going to any of those events they announced? I already been there a couple times. I went there once for uh, Predator, which was fucking killer, and I went there um, for uh, Serial Mom, which uh, we went up there for like a night to see. Both of them were like night, like a single night camping. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it was kind of like an accidental thing, Nuji, that I just felt like, because I was noticing that, like, last stream, too, or, or my failed attempt, which was the first attempt, I was like, why the fuck is there just one dog? And I just accepted it, because I was like, screw it, you know, less enemies I have to kill, but there you go. Although you do have to deal with the dog in the hall. Yeah, I guess it's a balance, right? But I might be able to just run past him, hopefully, because he's usually just kind of, like, in a corner or something, but that is true. It is another thing I got to deal with, but I guess it's better than dealing with two. Thoughts on the Prey trailer? I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Uh, okay, we've we got to throw this imitation key over here. And now we're almost back. Was going for the fly, but had stuff come up. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, I didn't go to that one either. But, um, yeah, man, just let me know if you decide to do one of the... Those events. I, I know they didn't announce Camp Blood yet. I know that's going to be in August. I know they're going to announce something like that in, in August, so I would like to go to that. Um, the Charles Bronson weekend? That would be killer, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, those lineups are fucking nuts, man. They have some good stuff this year. I wish Zombie Fest... I, I like the Zombie Fest lineup. Don't get me wrong. I like their show in... You know, reanimator and all that stuff. Um, I wish they had just had a little bit more punch to it to some of those. Uh, but a lot of times, those zombie fest ones and the camp bloods are the ones that sell out. As you know, they're like very popular. So, but yeah, definitely trying to. Um, the Fly is one of the most underrated movies ever. I love The Fly. They were showing the original Fly and. Um, in the remake. To miss Death Wish 3 at the drive-in would be a mistake. That's true, Jeff. That's true. Death Wish is fucking killer. Alright. Fucking crimson head. <laughs> I love when he just kills the other zombie. That's just such a that's such a great a great thing to watch. Alright. 
What's your drink of choice for the UK meetup? Oh, man. Drink of choice. That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm down to try. I mean, obviously, I mean, if we're talking alcoholic beverages, I'm down to try. I mean, I, I, I'm a beer drinker. Callie, she, she's, you know, she's like, she's all about like the, the mixed fruity drinks and the wine and shit like that. I'm down for any kind of beer that, you know, you guys would recommend or stuff that you guys have over there. Um, of course, you know, and then if we're talking non-alcoholic drinks as well, Lucasade, obviously, because, you know, that's just a staple. It needs to, needs to happen. All right, Abraham. Oh, shit. We got another dice roll. It's been a little bit. Well, let's see what the fuck. Oh, shit. I did that again. God damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God damn it. Butterfingers. We had... No saving. It was no saving. And knife only. Whiskey. Uh, yeah, see, I... The one thing that I... I try to stay away from is just, like, the hard liquor shit, you know? Whiskey's fine if I'm, like, sipping on it, if it's, like, you know, ice and shit. But when it comes to, like, you know, vodka and taking shots of that shit, yeah, that's... Those days are done. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> I might have to do a shot with the with the boys over, you know, eight and eleven on. All right, let's see what we got. Reset all. Uh, lagers or ales? I would say a uh, lager. Another lager, please, Mary. Yes, lager down. Uh, reset all. There you go. See, you just probably like no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Abraham. Fuck yeah. You know what that means? I'm saving right the fuck now. Right now. Tequila formats my brain. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I remember taking, like, a shot of tequila in Mexico for the first time. And it, like... It literally burned... It, like... Literally burned my inside. Like, you know... And that's, like, when you're, like, not an experienced drinker. So you don't know what the fuck, like... You know... What to expect. <laughs> that, was, that was, like, 12 years ago. <laughs> it's a long time ago. That was when you used to get certain... You know... In, in Mexico, they don't care what age you are, you know. Let's just say that. I remember editing my RE4 Let's Play while I was in Cancun. Like, I was editing parts of that, you know. Don't know why, but I would just be in, like, the hotel. Because, like, there was some, you know, there was some bars that, like, you had to be 21 to, uh, to drink. So I couldn't go out. And so I would just, like, go on my laptop and edit RE4 Let's Play parts all right so we got a couple donations coming in no one really wants the uh no one wants the reset here so we got another one from nuji 449 Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. No killing is on. All right, month. that's that's already. Uh, at least I got a save in though. That, that that's at least a little little bit better, a little bit more uh, motivating. Okay, so that and then for Jin, yeah, Cancun. That's where I was. That's where I was. Force damage for nine. Anthony, speed run this before the next dice roll screws us over. Well, yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's, they're already coming in. It's not knife only, though, but I can't kill. So it's like, what do I do? Ooh. 
What do I do? People don't check IDs. Uh, pretty much, yeah. That's kind of how it was back then. Those bus drivers over there, they don't give a fuck. I mean, you think New, New York taxis don't give a shit? Alright. There's our force damage. Which set me back a little bit. That's fine. Gaz Shaw says, pretty disappointed that no news about Village DLC for the anniversary of the game's release. Stick to Lager when you come over to the UK. It's not a great place. It's not a great place to get smashed. Is it? It's not? It's not a great place to get to get obliterated, you know? Uh, that's a... Uh, I guess people would say the same thing about New York City, right? Don't get smashed in New York City. Don't get fucked up. What's up, Vader Cool Studios? Uh, you didn't miss much. I mean, I've been, you know, two hours. I'm finally now making at least a little bit of progress, but I haven't really progressed past the, the point where I last got fucked up. So, uh, I'm getting there, though. It's been a little bit of a challenge, to say the least, with this dice lock, but, uh... <laughs> Nuji says, what the hell? London is a great, great place to get, to get smashed. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, at least if you're with, you know, the crew that I'm going to be with, you know what I mean? I'll be, I'll be in safe hands. I'm not, it's not like I'm a, you know, random tourist just like, I'm going to get drunk and walk around, brother. You know. It'll be cool. Looking forward to it. But I agree. I mean, I would, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't like mix, you know, shit. Because as soon as you start mixing with all that crap, that's when you die. That's when you get sick, and your, your, your next day is pretty much ruined by a, by a hangover. But if you stick to the beer, you're in the clear. And I get to play some Resident Evil, like, I mean, come on. That's like, I can't wait to see the venue, man. I'm so stoked. I know you already saw it, um, you and your buddy, but I'm I'm super stoked just to see it. Just to see it all, like, set up. And I'm sure, it, like, once you see it, too, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is actually, like, like, once you see it all done up, like, the way you want, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is fucking killer, you know? Roll the dice is for JG here. I can't save. There it is. I can't save again. So the one save that I got, <laughs> I should just cherish that because it looks like unless it gets rolled again. Where's Barry? He's taking a nap right now. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last night. All right, we're going to come back here anyway. Barry. Where's Barry? Peace out. And we dodge him. Cool. Alright. Might as well get, uh... Jesse. Time to get back to 
the Richard and the Serum, which is... Woo! Launcher probably after this. Because then we gotta. Let's try. Oh shit, JG's not Ready? done. Keep rolling, rolling. No saving is back. I could save again. Thank you, brother. Still can't kill, though, which is pretty, uh... Pretty rough, to be honest. Nuji got a good one. He rolled a good one. Twice, actually. It's just gonna be me trying to just run as fast as I can. Thank you, JG. Yeah, if you guys are just getting in here, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. Really appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. Goddamn, Ant is lucking out tonight. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, uh, I definitely got screwed big time last, last dice lock. But hey, you know, two hours of this was pretty much me getting screwed, so. It's like the last, like, 10 to 15 minutes, I feel like I'm actually doing okay. So, I'm starting to feel a little bit, a little bit better with this, but it's been a little bit of a rough start today. For sure. Just because of the luck of the draw again. Like, I'm just now getting back up to where I'm, like, making progress. Once I do Richard here with the serum and then circle back and do forest, then I will be caught up. Is Resident Evil Remake your favorite game? I missed the RE7 rollout and release, but when I got around to playing it, it blew my mind how amazing it was. What's everyone else's favorite? I mean, my favorite is probably Resident Evil 3 original, the, you know, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. But... Um... Remake is up there, man. I mean, I love the original trilogy. Remake's definitely on, like, my top five. Um, Jeff says, another dice roll from a, diff from a different JG. Yes. Jeff Grun, thank you, man. Really appreciate that. This is for Jeff. No killing is off. I can kill again. Yes, Jeff. Yes. And stay down. Because I can kill you, bitch. Clean slate. That's how we do it. He's just like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed... Uh... Jeff says, let there be blood. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, you guys doing R the RE4 dice lock, you know? That kind of gives me an idea of, of what to expect uh, on my RE4 dice lock. That's something that I'll probably do sometime this summer. 
That'll be really fun to approach. Tolga told me again. That's right. Tolga's pulling out the predictions. Tolga, you should play the fucking lottery, man. You, you might get lucky. So we got the music note, and then we have to go get the emblem. Oh, I'd love to do RE5 dice lock for the co-op partner, you know? That would make it unique. Would you do anything differently with your RE4 dice lock? I'm not sure, man. Um, you guys really did a good job with, like, you know, managing the the uh, reloading and, the and like, you know, kind of giving those chapter breaks because it is a differently formatted Resident Evil than the original. So I think you guys did a really good job with, like, making that work and um all the steps were awesome you know what i mean because i still kept that same the same vibe of the other dice locks and yeah i thought it was great man i don't know what else i could really do to you know switch it up or make it even better than that i thought it was very well done and i'm happy it didn't take <laughs> it didn't take you guys uh, a bunch of attempts you know what i mean uh, i think re4 again it can go either way sometimes the way RE4 can be. RE4 can be a bitch. Always forget which order this is. Yeah, lots of potential with the Cobb one. Yeah, exactly. That's something I'll probably do once the, uh, once I get done Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. If we get that done, that would be the best, because we can finish it while we're there together in the UK. Open up. There we go. All right. We need to chat about the RE3 stuff soon. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, definitely. We could do that over Discord, or we can even do it over, like, a chat, you know, like a video chat or whatever. Whenever you're free, just let me know. Would you play RE spinoff in a game that you play as Wesker in the story mode? Something different than a hero story, like all the RE games. Is Vader cool? Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would play as Wesker. I don't mind playing as the villain. It would be different, too. You know what I mean?
remake of Dino Crisis would have been great. It seems like that's what, you know, uh, Exo Primal was, and then they just decided to go with <laughs> a versus dinosaur game. Yeah, so much potential for a lot of a lot of cool dice lock stuff for a, a lot of these games. Even a dice lock for Donner Crisis would be fucking cool. God damn it, get off. Those bites from the back kill me, man. Now I can fuck you up. Oh, we're not. I guess he's just fucking Superman. Fuck you, man. God, that was sloppy. We need a Wesker game in the form of something like Metal Gear Solid Rising. That would be sick. Yeah, something like that would be a very... Talk about unique spinoff. That would be very well done. Alright, that was really dumb of me to do that. But you know what they say. Burn them all. It is a tricky game to memorize, man. I, I, I'll be honest. I needed a strategy guide just to play that on stream. You know, I, I needed to kind of at least have a guide of some sort. Oh, he's still not dead. Why are you on steroids? Why are you on steroids? Chat room. What is happening? Why is he not dead? I thought he was gonna I was gonna come out and he was gonna be like that on the ground. But no. What's up, Nemesis? And stay down. Imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> with the infected with the uh, the T virus. Yeah, come on, do it. You can't kill me. It's gonna be a while. What's up, Koza the Otaku? What's up? He's like a superpower zombie. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was, chat room. I I've never experienced that. No, I didn't mean to screenshot it. What do you make? Damn you, Xbox. Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being. I can't even do this puzzle. I don't have room in my inventory. That zombie was injected with, with the super tyrant virus. The shit's fucking... That was just unnecessary. Got a little too cocky there, that's why I took so much damage, but... What do we got here? Got the herb. Take it. There's a rumor regarding Ari Code Veronica remake. Yeah, there's, there's always been rumors. But nothing ever solid until 
Screenshot of Barry and Jill investigating. Yeah, I'll just forever have that now on my on my hard drive. Barry is a straight up gangster. Yes, he is. He's the OG. Imagine the predator or alien with the T-virus. That would be insane. Because they're already powerful on their own. Not the bees. T one thousand versus Nemesis. Who wins? Oh man. Maybe the T one thousand, right? shit done. Tolga says a plus gives gives this instead of OG trilogy better be doing 4K resolution ray tracing in 60. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't even announce anything like that, you know? So I wouldn't get get my hopes up just yet. Yeah, I would say the Terminator wins against that. For sure. Terminator, yeah. Strong as hell. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. Yo, mate. JG with, with the $2. No defense. It's on. Thank you for the super chat.
The other crow is just chilling there. JG with the other one dollar. Unbanned weapon. Well, I will... I will re-roll for that one, actually, so... Six. That's a six, not a nine, chat room. Pretty sure it's an upside down six. That's a force damage. Uh, if that was a nine, that would be a reset. <laughs> that would be a reset, but I'm pretty sure that's a six. I saw it get turned around, chat room. What do you think? Tyrant 103. Could be the alien queen. JJ says, yo, Ant and chat, gotta do some errands for the day. My bad I haven't shown on the stream lately, been busy, but always enjoying the content. Thanks, man. Looks like it's got a small dot under it indicating it is a six. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, not not a twelve. That was close though. That scared me. It almost gave me a fucking Heart attack. I was like, oh, no, please don't. Because I saw it go upside down in the when it was like rolling, and I was just like, oh man, please no. Yeah, I would say the alien queen, man.
And I got the grenade launcher. This way, so we gotta go play the piano, play the Moonlight Sonata. Robocop with the T-Virus and the OCP company share resources with Umbrella. It's like the ultimate collaboration, right? I gotta be close to using up this key here. shotguns there but we'll probably ignore that for now I want to try to get the assault shotgun If you're coming with me, Wesker. You working with Wesker. Wesker and Sadler? I'd say Wesker, man. Easy. Have to go to an appointment. I'll catch you later. Take care, Danger Dylan. sheet of music here. Yeah, I was going to say, Wesker compared to Sadler is like no, no competition. Did 
Juicy headshot. I like it. Forget what this is again. Wesker vs. Red Skull? The fucking... The Red... The Red Skull? What are you talking about? From, like... From Marvel? You know, come on. You know, you know Wesker... Wesker just wins. What the hell do you think this is?
Thanos or Usanok? Well, <laughs> I mean Thanos in that case, right? Also, what the 40 watching and only 93 likes. Share the video, guys. Yeah, man. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. Like, share. Let people know about the show, the channel. Get to over a hundred likes, guys. Come on. I know we're close. Maybe I'll put this push this down while I can. Nemesis or Heisenberg, that would be an interesting fight. Nemesis or Heisenberg. Nemesis automatically wins for just being the better original character. <laughs> Alright. Time to fend off the snake. Let's do a chat room. Snake or Grave Digger? I would say Giant Snake. I like the Yawn Snake. Payback time. Fucker. Ah.
There we go. We got the achievement, too. Nemesis vs. Prime Ear Biting Mike Tyson. Who wins? <laughs> Look out for those mic bites. Have you ever seen the new Prey Predator trailer? If so, what you think? I haven't seen it. Someone was asking about that earlier. Uh, I guess that's the new Predator stuff. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Poison. serum. Damn, I didn't unlock that. That would have been clutch. Whatever. Whatever. Nemesis doesn't have the ears exactly. That's why that's why that's why Nemesis would win in that case. Mr. Patriot, you're so fucking funny. Oh, hi, James. Hello. You're saying hi to the camera? Saying hello. James is doing his rounds, so you doing your rounds? Yeah, you doing your rounds? You making sure everyone's good? You gonna get behind me and steal my seat? That's what he likes to do. This is James. This is James. Where's Mr. James doing? Yeah. Trying to bite my nose and shit. See what he does, chat room. Alright. So we got the assault shotgun now. As James takes up space. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There you go. He wants to take his chair. That's what he wants. Walking Record City, and it made me see why they could see. It made me sad to see what they could do with the movie. Still enjoyed it. I liked it way more than the sci-fi ones that we had before. Yeah, OHB. Some people feel that way for sure. Does Jesse and James like to run outside and hunt rats? No, they don't. We don't let them outside. They are indoor cats. James, you jumping over my shoulder. What the hell is that for? What are you doing? 
I'm trying to give you enough room, buddy. You're, bar you're barely giving me room, huh? You gotta compromise, bud. You gotta compromise. I'm trying to be all in my space. He's like, but it's my chair. It's like, nope. No, it's not. What am I doing? Look at this guy. See his little head? Wanna watch me kill Father Ted? Crimson Head? Huh? You're gonna, you're gonna cheer me on. If you were to make a RE game, what location would you use? I would use something like an airport or a mall. A mall would be awesome. That'd be so much very Dawn of the Dead. Airport would be pretty much like Degeneration, which I like. I thought that was very well done. Just in your room. Ah, uh, chat room. I didn't like walking to Raccoon City, OHB. A lot of missed potential. I think they were trying to do too much in one movie. They should have stuck to one game per movie, or at least started with the first one. PC or console graphics look good to be honest. Yeah, this is actually uh, the Series S. I'm playing this on the Xbox. So. takes three assault shots, eh? Alright. I was getting way more prepared than I needed to be. What's up, horror fan for life? Good to see you, man. Resident Evil storyline is a mess because of how many plot points there are and un 
unfulfilled, such as Rev 1 ending with with Conan or Rev 2 with the little girl. Yeah, I know what you mean, like a lot of unfinished business. Assault shotgun. Alex West. Alex Wesker was pretty cool. Tells me how, how the entertainment world just spins off and do whatever they want. To beloved universes, I hate when that. Well, yeah, I mean, like, and I know not like every single live action game stuff can be a hundred percent, and it could always like work, right? But at the same time, it's like if you know, we never really got it right, and I think that's why we keep getting like upset when they don't do it right. In my opinion, is like we never really quite got it what really the fans wanted, at least the majority of the fans. Natalie Rose versus Rose Winters. Definitely Rose Winters, right? Resident Evil Final Chapter does feel like the Matrix. Absolutely. That's when they were just like throwing everything at those fucking things. You know? north and south, right? Did you, 
can draw RE7 in Village, playing Village through the PS5 this week, can't wait, only played it on PS4. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought they were, they were okay. Um, you know, I think I played through RE7 recently on VR, and, you know, I, I did I did appreciate that a little bit more, um, you know, going through it again. But, uh, yeah, Village, I just had more of a problem with the story, you know. But, you know, I didn't mind Extinction as much because that was, like, right before it actually got, uh, you know, kind of more fucked up and there was a bunch of shit everywhere and it was, like, you know, a bunch of plot holes and it, it didn't really make... It didn't really make any sense uh, because they would have, like, Chris Redfield come in and then they would have, you know, they'd have all this shit and it'd be, like... Then they would forget about him. You know what I mean? They would forget about him. It's very fucking weird. So. They would just do a shit like that, where it's like, why? No, I'm excited to talk about Extinction, you know. Um, that's my that's my buddy's favorite, so. God damn it. Chris and Ares have low sensitivity in Final Fight. Yeah, I know, right? That was a good fight. I'm appreciating this game so much more every time I see it. The colors, the antique feel just feels so right. Yeah, they got the art and everything down pat in this one. This was perfect. Just hit at the right time on GameCube. Everything was, everything was coming together. This remake. Lisa Trevor, is that you? Yes, it is. Ari franchise. Does that make sense as Nar? Yeah, I mean, I know people have a love-hate relationship with it. Some people don't feel, you know, very inspired by the current state of Ari. You know, that's how John feels right now. He's like, just not, he just doesn't, he's not vibing with anything Ari. So, and I, and I get it because it is, it's just, you know, everyone has different pockets of opinion. So it's fine, you know, and there's some eras that will work and some that won't for some people. So, Ever get a remaster of this one? 
Probably not. I think this is as good as you can get it to look. I think if anything, they should just make it run, you know, full 60, like a little bit better. Um, but... What's up, man? The great one? Are you fucking serious? Oh my fucking god. I never die from Lisa at that part. I never fucking die from her. Fuck. Fuck Lisa Trevor, man. Motherfucker, dude. That pisses me the fuck off. Now I gotta kill this fucking snake again. Ah! Uh. Oh my fucking god. That's never happened. I've never died by Lisa Trevor there, man. Fuck this, man. <sighs> fucking died by Lisa Trevor in the fucking graveyard bit. Because I got stuck on the stairs and she kept just killing me. It never happens, and I fucking slipped up. Ugh. So fucking annoying. It's my fault. It's just, it's all, it's all me, but... I'm set back like ten minutes. I got to the cabin and died, yep. Which never happens. I usually just get the right the fuck out of there. <sighs> I hate this shit. Because then I gotta do this and Father Ted again. I'm not worried about, you know, these fights too bad because we're fine. Cobra with Sylvester Stallone, that's a good movie. Clicked no because I panicked, so now that key is just going to be in my inventory. What is happening, chat room? What is happening today?
All right. I'm gonna save once I'm in the fucking the guardhouse. Just get past, you know, part one of the mansion at least. Three and a half hours later. But, <laughs> you know, such is the nature of the dice roll. I am poison. Poison. No, if I die, number 10 stays on. Even if I die. Until it gets rolled, it, uh... Until it gets rolled off, it stays on there. Damn. Close call. Way too close. Way too close, chat room. back All right There we go. Alright. And then once we kill Father Ted here, then we'll be caught up, basically. Forgot about you. if they go back to the if they do RE engine background and render it to the game well I think at this point if they were to do a remake of RE1 in the RE engine that's probably what they're gonna do if they're gonna do if they're gonna do anything Back did that take you? Probably like 15, 15 minutes, maybe. It's not too bad. 
I did save recently, so that's a good thing I've been trying to stay on my saves. games if they're going to do it they're going to add the uh, re2 zombies well i think if they're going to do it they should add crimson heads like if they if they do some kind of like you know remake of the first game again that would be really cool to add to get them back man i'll have each remake kind of stand out RE1, Extinction, and Welcome to Raccoon City has the most atmosphere out of all the RE movies, in his opinion. Demolition Man is awesome, he says. Horror fan. The assault... The assault... Assault shotgun is killer. It is so good. Yuji says, dude, you need to try the Steam version of this game with the door skip mod. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. I, I really got to try that, man. I love the Steam version of this game, so I, I would love to check that out, man. It's PC, get that instant load, man. Whew. That was a close call. Accidentally use a defense <laughs> item there. Yeah, I know the door skipping mods are very popular for a lot of Resident Evil games. As, uh, oh, and it's Brad. No one cares, Brad. You left us here. I remember when I was a kid and I uh, played Resident Evil 3 on the pl uh, on the PC for the first time, and I found out you could skip the doors with M, and I was like, no way, you know? James is still behind me, giving me no space on the chair. 
Because James is a cat that is like, I want this chair, I'm taking it. Fuck you. Alright, Lisa, you bitch. I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah, I'll definitely play Resistance or Reverse, you know. Never tried Resistance on stream, never Reverse, we're still waiting for, so... Yeah, I definitely would like to play it with people on stream. Or people that want to play it, you know. Because I don't know if there's a lot of people that want to play them. But it might be fun, you know, we, you know, it's, I don't fucking know, we'll see. Got you that time, Lisa. Doesn't Lisa Trevor look a lot better when she's not using her her knees to snap and uh to snap necks of the um of the dead here? Come on guys, don't you want that? Don't you want Lisa Trevor to go on every zombie's head and just... Just like the liquor? Isn't that Lisa Trevor? Boo, what's up, Quentin? With the dollar, we got a roll here. First roll in a little bit. Let's try. No healing. Wow. Alright, no healing is on. Things are starting to get interesting again. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. All right, we got to roll again for Quentin. Try to get this Magnum real quick. Oh, get! Get off of me here. And then... And then, let's bring it over here. crest that we need. Figured you were getting a little too far without having more stipulations. Yeah, it's fair. It was quiet for a little bit. I'll roll your second roll, Quentin, in a second here. Alright. Knife only. <laughs> Knife only. So you were right, Tolga. Again. Put that on here. Knife 
only. No healing and knife only is pretty rough. Quentin here. Unban weapon. We'll I'll have you ban a weapon, Quentin. Ban a weapon. You can ban the handgun. You can ban the anything. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. Har Francis' game brings him back to high school and how much this played a part in his life at the time. Yeah, me too. Earlier, when I was younger too, when it came out, and then doing the Let's Play for me during this channel during high school. Bans a flamethrower. All right, flamethrower's ban. We're gonna go knife only anyway, so let me. Can't heal though, but. saving. Alright. I will be right back, chat room. I'm just going to take a little uh, quick break, and I will be back. Stay tuned.
just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Alright. Quentin. With another dollar. He's back with a vengeance. We had a four. Ban weapon. Quentin, you get to ban another weapon, my friend. We are on knife only right now, as it stands. So, it's not looking too good, though, in terms of stips. We got knife only, no healing, and no defense. Our defenses are down, chat room. Quite literally. What is going to be Quentin's second weapon ban? No shotgun. Damn. All right. He's banning the shotgun. So, flamethrower, shotgun. Both a band. It's been a it's this has been a rough round, guys. This has been a rough, you know, cuz 2 hours of this stream it was just the beginning half and you know, we're just getting it the guardhouse. Should have been here an hour and some change ago. Really. I can't heal, so I probably shouldn't get poisoned. <clears throat> this one's empty. Okay. 
I'm gonna put away some healing to get some space in our inventory. I don't think we need the crank right now, either. This is what we got, chat room. This is what we got. Barry's being crazy again. The residence key in Resident Evil. And a zombie in here. this way. There we go. Perfect. In terms of what is harder right now, in terms of uh, remake or original dice lock, if I'm going to compare the two, I don't know. The original definitely gave me a lot more problems. Mostly on Chris, but I don't know. It's hard to say when I haven't done Chris yet. All right. Control room key, that's what we need. Considering we can't heal and we have our knife on, uh, I'm trying to avoid combat as much as possible. <laughs> so I gotta do this next part with the shark here. James wants his chair back. There you go. Of having no room on the chair because the cat <laughs> come on Jill If you use modern controls, you can just 360 the zombies. They can't attack you. That's true. <clears throat> that's something I haven't done, but I know that that's, like, super easy to do. Um, so maybe I should do that, right?
So remake is easier. Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> the dice lock never really makes things easy. Even games that are easy on dice lock. That's what I was referring to. Not so much the games themselves on their own. The games on their own, I think <clears throat> remake is a little bit easier. I think the original has some more cheaper hitboxes and some moments with the hunters that could be very questionable. Yeah, I know all the speedrunners do it. I know that's been the main strategy for a while now. I just like playing on original controls, always. And into the shark tank we go. Not so much rumors, I mean, a lot of people are... <coughs> Plasma, a lot of people are expecting some village DLC to be announced eventually. There's always rumors and shit going around. Some just speculation. How on earth are you going to do Plan 42 with no healing? That's, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. But doing V-Jolt <clears throat> might help, I don't even know. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown Pressure detected. detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. <laughs> Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Immediately. Reaching seventy percent of pressure threshold. I have rumors for like four new games. Yeah, exactly. Some of them never actually happen. So it's like... <clears throat> Drain that water. Yeah, I don't know about Plan 42, guys. I don't know about Plan 42. I guess V-Jolt and then just try to knife it.
Whoops, wrong way. Yeah, I'm just thinking of my head chat room. <clears throat> I'm just thinking, like, how am I gonna, <clears throat> unless something changes, how am I gonna do what, what is uh, handed to me right now? Uh. And the Neptune is toast. Muhammad says, hey, I'm new here. How often do you stream? I try to stream <clears throat> three to four times a week. With a couple of VODs mixed in between. Um, because YouTube kind of wants, you know, channels to kind of have a balance of both, or at least that's, at least that's what they tell me, right? Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. Quentin with the two, he says, maybe you'll get lucky roll with this one. Let's see. No reloading, <clears throat> which is on. Not so lucky, but I'm on knife only, so right now that doesn't really affect me. But if knife only gets turned off, no reloading is on. Which can affect me. I'm real realizing, says Nuji, no healing is the most difficult stip to get in dice locks. I think I'm going to change mine to ban healing items. So either green, red, blue herbs, or first aid sprays to balance it out a little. That's a good point. That's a good point. It, it is kind of rough with the no healing. I mean, that's that's um unbanned weapon and healing could be combined. That's true. Because, I mean, if you really think of it, like, the no healing thing has screwed me out of attempts multiple times. Um, you know, when, it, when like, I'm up, my back's up against the wall and I have limited whatever, like, RE2 B, uh, Claire B is the perfect example of just getting completely screwed by the no healing stip. Yeah, I want to reset that. I want to reset that. All right. Fuck. We're already on danger. Or orange caution. Ugh.
This is looking pretty bleak. Yep. You're right, Nudri. It is. Not so lucky here. <clears throat> Gildy exterminator. This is just so, this is looking bad. So bad, chat room. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta get the lighter, right? Light the... The lamps. Because you actually have to do something for this panel room, unlike Resident Evil 1, where it's like, random, but it isn't. I guess I should save, right? Like, I... You know? Like, I, I don't even know. I guess I'll just make another save. It's really... Kind of like wishful thinking, but... Fuck! Uh, I'm just gonna restart the save that I just saved because I was gonna die. Fear can't kill you, but the spiders will. Chat room, the spiders will. Of course, I don't put the lighter in my inventory before I save. <laughs> if it ain't the dogs, it's the spiders. If it ain't the spiders, it's the whatever.
Can I even make it through here without fucking... This is just like... Just finished mowing my lawn. Looks like you made some progress, says Jeff. Well, guess again, because I finally made it to the guardhouse after a few hours, but now I'm kind of screwed with my steps, as you can see. No healing, no reloading, no defense, knife only. R-I-fucking-P. But I'm going to try to make the V-Drill in a desperate attempt to... Whatever. I don't even know the door code here. Um, I feel like it's... Joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Quentin with the one and Myers with the two says thank you. All right, we got two rolls here. Let's see what we get. Force damage. Force damage. Roll again. Most of these medicines unban weapon. I will unban the shotgun. So thank you, Myers and Quentin. But Quentin, I got a force damage. Pete's face is Andy. Ever thought about writing your own movie, which is inspired by Ari, since none of the live action adaptations get it right? Yeah, I was thinking. I'm thinking about that. I mean, it would take a lot of a budget for for someone like myself to to get down. Um, but it's something I've, of course, I've always wanted to do. Um, no matter what, I think I'll try to get that going one of these days. You know, because yeah, why not? At least you got to see Deftones and Gojira last week, and I'm mad jealous. I had pre-production for my band's next album down in Virginia, so I missed The Offspring and Deftones. Damn. Yeah, no, dude, that show was incredible. And it was actually raining, but it was, like, foggy. So it was still raining, and when before Gojira came out, because it was outdoors, so it was just, like, the whole Stone Pony outdoor stage was just covered in, like, this haze. And it was like they were just playing like Gojira just came out and there was just this like fog all around them and you could just see them like it was actually kind of fucking cool. Everyone was getting getting into it and it was a really cool show, man. I mean, Deftones came out and killed it every single time. This is my seventh time seeing Deftones. So that shows you how I try to get catch them every time. I think they're playing Philly, though, man. I think they're playing at the Met like this weekend. So you could still catch them in Philly. I play. I saw him at Stone Pony, so I got a force damage, so I might as well just hit me. There we go. And I'm on danger. Which means I might as well just die. Well, horror fan, it's a well. Let me let the spider kill me, and let me grab something for horror fan real quick, because I have to die anyway. There we go. Ill. 
the fuck is that? Alright. Horror fan. Yo, Jeff, they played Flying Whales, bro. That shit was heavy live. Like, and you know what I'm talking about, the breakdown, at the, especially at the fucking, the whole song is just killer, but yeah, dude, everyone was vibing with it. And the bassist was like, fucking flipping the bass and shit, like, oh my god. Here you go, I just unboxed it. Escape from New York, 4K, and my slip is a little bent in the top corner, which is kind of fucking annoying. Like, come on, Amazon. I usually don't have a problem with these guys, like, sending the shit. Maybe I just got a bad luck with the slip cover. But it's so, like... Or maybe they just pack... They shrink-wrapped it so fucking tight. Yo, Jeff, I'm gonna send... There's a video of it, actually, um... And I'll, I'll send it to you. Uh, I'll text it to you, but, uh... That someone recorded it live, dude, just to give you, like, the idea of, like... Of how dope it was. <laughs> it was so fucking cool, dude. And I saw Gojira um, before Slipknot uh, one year when they did their, I think it was when their last album came out, uh, We Are Not Your Kind came out, and then they toured with Gojira and Behemoth and Volbeat, which was like the weirdest lineup because Volbeat, I don't really like Volbeat like that. But I know like some people like, you know, were like, what the hell? Why is, why is Gojira going on after Volbeat? But. I understand Volbeat has that, like, radio rock kind of thing. Yeah, let me see if I can get it for you real quick. It was so killer, dude. It was so killer. Because they were kind of playing as uh, as it was, like, going into uh, night, you know? So, because they probably came on. There was a, another band called Vals that kind of opened for them. They were kind of, like, shoegazy, new wavey kind of, you know, um... Let's say I got you on here. Boom. Yeah, I'm going to send you the link. I didn't record this, obviously, but this is... Just to give you an idea of the vibe that that show... Just the thumbnail, man. You you just look at that in the thumbnail, and you're going to be like, what the hell? It's fucking... It was, it was actually cool. See them play at the Starland, but man, seeing them at the Summer State, that sounds like a dope experience. Yeah, you know, it's funny because that was actually the, fir the so the first time I actually went to the Summer Stage because I've I've been to the Stone Pony indoors, and I've seen shows there. I've seen Corey Taylor there, but um, I I never saw an actual band on the Summer Stage. When I went to the Summer Stage last, it was before a couple years ago, and. It was uh, for Game Grumps because uh, my girlfriend Callie's really into Game Grumps, and they were doing a like live, you know, show there. So that was that was the one time I actually went there. This is the first time I actually uh, like saw the uh, a band there, a band play there. So yeah, it was it was fucking killer. But yeah, it's uh, it's just good that the summer, the summer is kicking off. The shows are kicking off. But you know, it's not kicking off. This fucking dice lock. That's it's not kicking off. <laughs> Whew. Go. 
Observer Stage has easily become my favorite venue aside from the parking. I've been at least 20 shows inside and out of the point. Love that vibe there. Yeah, man. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Festival Pier, and I miss that venue, so, like, dearly. Like, dearly. Because that was such a great outdoor venue. And that's the vibe that this kind of gets you know, gave me as far as like, you know, how open it is and there's a lot of space and then you have the tents kind of set up. It's kind of like that. Um, the parking, we were able to park at one of those, like, like the kind of like the, um, the, they had the, like those kiosks that you can pay for and then put it in your dash or I don't even think you have to put it in your dash anymore, but you just put in your license plate and it pays for it. So it wasn't like a lot. Cause I think by the time we got there, all the lots were filled. We didn't get, we got pretty close. We didn't get to the um, we didn't get to the doors uh, right when they opened, but it was still it was still very fun. All right, let me see if I can look up the the door code. I always forget it. Before the Asbury Revival 10 or so years ago, parking was free on most side street or or block from the venue. Now every, everywhere is paid or permanent only. Oh, damn. I did not know that. Yeah, man. You know, <laughs> unfortunately, that shit always kind of changes up. It's kind of annoying, especially when it was the same for so long, you know. of those three three six five that was five six three actually so kind of worked out
Got the jolt. Got the jolt, chat room. This is just wishful thinking chat room. I don't I don't really uh I'm not feeling too confident right now that I'm going to get at this run. But I'm just going to try the plant as best as I can. It's not looking really good though. <laughs> just because of how the steps are. We'll save again, right? <laughs> if we even can, I don't even think we can. Alright, we can, we got one left. At least over here. Use this V jolt now. Venom Pit, thank you. I'm gonna need it. It's not looking so hot, but... the plant again. I know the room's down here in the original, but...
Hmm. Trying to. It's been a while since I've done V-Jolt in this game, to be honest. Have to be over here, right? There we go. Found it. Hopefully, it's worth the backtrack, but I should have did this and then saved. But I was afraid I was going to get bit or something on the way here, so that's why I, I kind of didn't do it in that order. But this may be the final attempt, chat room. I'm not sure what much more I can really pull out of my ass, even if I retry this and try this again. You know what I mean? I'm like two more hits and I'm dead. So this, this is it. All in. Four and a half hours later. <laughs> I wanted today to be a longer attempt. So, you know. This is it. That's what now, Tolga. That is what is now. Just trying my best. Set that. That was sloppy. So one enemy I have to get past without getting bit, and he's a fucking he's in a tight resident souls. <laughs> Way too close. <laughs> Way too close, chat room. solve the naked lady puzzle too. Yes we do. Nuji with the pound 79. No defense. I can use defense items again. I don't think that could help me here, but thank you so much, man. It's something off, but don't know what much it's going to do here. Uh, is there an ink ribbon hanging around here? Or no. Nothing. 
nothing in there? Motherfucker. Alright, chat room. I think there's fucking nothing. This may be it for today's, uh, today's stream. Sorry, I kind of... Well, I mean, you guys are the one that won, but... I knew this was going to be a problem. Oh shit, it's fl it's it's flamethrower Barry. Is this thing? Forgot he comes in to save us. Lucked out. We lucked out. Barry came with the fucking flamethrower. We used the V jolt. All right. Barry cheated with the flamethrower. I know he did technically. All right. Well, I guess that's one way to get around it, right? I thought I was going to have to fight it. Come on, three. All right. This is going to be for Nuge here again. Let's try. Ready, start. Unbanned weapon. Flamethrower. What's up, Shonen Japan? This is still rough, though. This is still rough. This doesn't uh doesn't change it just because we got past the plant. Barry came in with the clutch. Is there any other ink ribbons? I'm gonna see if I can grab. I gotta save. Even going in here is fucking risky. Roll for Quentin. <laughs> no saving. Oh my god. That is it, chat room. That might be it right there. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of why I'm even in here. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. Hey man, you ever checked out RE1 comic? Is it any good? I never actually read it, but I've heard I've heard it's really good. I like to own it. Yeah, this is brutal chat room. All bad rules for you from me. Hey, it's, it, you know, it's all good, man. It's, not, it's no one's fault. It's just the dice, you know? Well, we might as well try to go out on the snake, right? If we can. Because uh, I was going to say, I was like, all right, maybe if I can save in the mansion, you know, but I... Uh, uh, all right, another one from Quentin. He's trying. He's trying to get me something else here. Force damage. And on that note, there we go. Uh... 
<laughs> Just when I thought that I was ahead. All right, chat room. It's been almost five hours of this, so I think I am good. Please don't donate anymore. You guys have killed me. Anthony Zero, chat two for the Resident Evil remake dice lock attempt. Looks like we're going to have to do an attempt three on this one. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted to take some damage from the dogs, but I knew at that point I was already on danger. It was either going to be the hunter or the dogs. So, you know what? I'll just take it at the dogs, whatever. But, thank you guys so much for making this fun. This was a fun one. I think this one, if anything, gave me more practice because I at least got further into it, which is a little bit more heartbreaking because I quit in the murderer. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone played a hand in killing me now. But um but no, thank you guys so much for uh for watching and being uh donators and participating and just having fun with this. It looks like Jill will go on to attempt three, which I try to do one, you know, weekly, like one a week. Um so oh, yeah, stay tuned for next week for another dice lock. And um this week I have up the RE seven hundred percent mercenaries uh runs will continue. That is going to be the next stream, and I will be doing a Hangout stream later this week as well. Quinn says, coming for you next. Yeah, exactly. Please check out uh, Nuji uh, Monday. You said next Monday, or this upcoming Monday, you'll be doing Resident Evil uh, Director's Cut. So please check that out, and I will be there as well. I'll try to contribute to the madness. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably make my dice lock... Not when he's doing his, so uh, yeah. So stay tuned for the schedule, of that stuff. And then I have a LCRE podcast episode that is in the oven, and it's going to be coming out uh, this weekend as well. So some LCRE stuff to look forward to, guys. So uh, just keep on a lookout. Please subscribe, hit the notification thing if you haven't, um, so so you stay notified. I know YouTube doesn't. Excuse me. I know YouTube doesn't notify people uh, as much, but just make sure you stay in the loop with all that stuff um, because I know sometimes it just doesn't send notifications, as a lot of people say in the chat. So follow me on all the socials so you know what's going on. LTRE.store for the brand new merch design from Quentin himself, the Nemesis shirt, as well as a couple others that I'm going to be throwing up uh, before the end of the month. So get your summer swag LTRE on. And, of course, check out the NordVPN link as well. And if you use my link, that helps me out. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for the content. And I will catch you guys in the next attempt where I'll be coming back with a vengeance. And check out Nuji's stream next week on Resident Evil Director's Cut. And we'll get some of our vengeance. Or at least I will. 